championship. It is dead quiet in here. Everybody wants to hear what Ace Haven has to say. You know, I've thought for a few weeks how I would come out and address what happened to me a month ago now by someone that I've always considered to be like blood and to be like family to me in Sean Christopher. I've ignored this for as long as it would allow to be ignored. Because the last thing that I want to do on any night, much less tonight, is come out here and speak to you about a betrayal by somebody that I considered my blood. Now, when I walk through that curtain, you see me exactly as I'm printed on this hoodie, a king, the king of the South. But right now it couldn't be further from the truth because if you look in my eyes, the man you see right now is not a happy man. The man you see right now is not ready to get in these ropes and fight somebody. I could get in this ring and I could beat the clock. There's not a person back there that can touch me in these ropes. But that's not where I am right now. and That's not mentally where Ace Haven is right now. Ace Haven is out here before you as a broken man. I am broken physically. I am broken mentally. And I am broken emotionally. Because the man that came out here and beat Eric the Ghost Silva. That's not Sean Christopher. That's not the Sean Christopher that I know. That's not who you are, Sean. You can call yourself Lord of the Flies. You can let the rot in. You can say all of your buzzwords, but everyone out here, including myself, knows that you're only trying to convince yourself that you're somebody you're not. Because deep down, I know you, Sean. I've held you while you've cried on me. I've been the closest thing, in your words, the closest thing you've ever had to a father in your life. I know the real Sean Christopher, and I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny at all. It's upsetting to me it has torn my life apart. It has turned my personal life upside down because this man is not only my best friend, but I have welcomed him into my home. And he is a very, very close relative in my heart. I hold him near and dear to me. You will shut up while I'm talking. This isn't funny to me. This isn't pro wrestling to me. This is my real life. So unless yours is more interesting, you will shut up while I'm talking. Because I'm talking to someone who means a lot to me, and I don't know who you're talking to, but I guarantee you it's not important as what I'm saying out here. I am the king of the South, and this is my house, damn it. I have spent years of my life convincing people that you are not your brother, Sean. I have spent years of my life telling people that Sean Christopher is not Donnie Primetime. But you seem content to come out here and prove a liar of me week in and week out. And I don't understand where we went wrong, my friend. I really, really don't. Now, you came out here and you slandered the king and you said some things 
last week that need to be spoken on. You said, I booted you out of Pro South years ago when your first run ended. You're damn right I did. Because you changed. You went from being a humble young man that was a role model to these kids out here and did absolutely nothing but make me prouder every time that you entered this ring. You became a disrespectful little pissant that wanted to buck authority for no reason other than you thought your friends in the back would think you were cool. But where are your friends now? Where's Chris Crump now? Where's Kevin Ryan now? Where's New South for you now, kid? We made you, Sean. But it wasn't us alone. It was these people that made you. And not only did these people make you, you made yourself. Because me, my family, pro-South, made you believe in yourself, Sean. Because you're a talented wrestler. You're a good person. You have a good heart. And people take advantage of you. And they say things about you that isn't true. And they attack your character. And I never stood for that. Whether you ignored my text messages, whether you ignored my Facebook messages, it didn't matter. I always defended you. Because I love you, Sean Christopher. I've always defended you. I've always told you how proud I am of you. Because out of all the people I've trained, out of all the shows that I've put on in this building, out of all the matches that I've done, every accomplishment I've had, wrestling for the NWA World Championship, wrestling Mike Quackenbush, going to Chikara, every single bit of it was to inspire somebody like you to do better than I did, to do better than I've done in my life, and do better than I've done in my career. Because you have all the tools to do it, Sean. The Chosen Ones wasn't a name. It wasn't a group. The Chosen Ones was about you. You're the Chosen One. You're the one that's supposed to do something in this business. 90% of the people that get in this ring will amount to absolutely nothing in pro wrestling. They'll be footnotes in history once they're done. They'll be replaced. They're cogs in the wheel, Sean. They're disposable. But you were the one that was supposed to do something. You were the one that was supposed to make something of yourself. Not this. Not what you're doing now. We can pull back the curtain, Sean. All the people I've trained, my influence on wrestling will be forever felt, whether anybody likes it or doesn't like it. From Brandon Watling, Donnie Primetime, Kay Newton, Saul Wright, Bobcat, Jake Franklin, my influence will forever be felt. <laughs> And that's not even beginning to name the people I've mentored, like your pro South champion, Aaron Dallas. Like the mongrel. People that I've made, stars that I've created. But what really matters is you, Sean. You are my masterpiece. You are the prodigy at 14 years old better than most people I've ever gotten in the ring with at 14 years old. You could have done anything. You had the world in your fingertips. And instead of grabbing hold of it and doing something with it, putting it up here, you put me up here and you put your hands on the throat of pro wrestling for no reason. 
for no reason, Sean. You're not impressing anybody. Nobody thinks you're cool. You're not a tough guy. It's not who you are. You're a good person with a good heart. I will not fight you, Sean. No matter what you do, no matter how bad you want it, I'm not going to fight you. Because Ace Haven gets nothing out of fighting you. I get absolutely nothing out of it. But if you keep going down this path, everything I've done, everything I've worked for, everything that I've strived for in pro wrestling will mean absolutely nothing. And I will go to my grave having no legacy in pro wrestling because my legacy was and always will be you, Sean Christopher. You don't know who you are, Sean. Turn my music off. I'm not done. You don't know who you are anymore, Sean. I won't fight you. But if you want to see me in the ring next Saturday at Redemption, I'll see you next Saturday. And Ace Haven is going to introduce Sean Christopher to who he really is.